What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. I want to talk a little bit about Town Hall 12 triples, and I've been thinking about this a little bit lately since our, unfortunately our early exit in this week's, or this month's um, ESL uh, Global Championship Tournament. Uh, we, we won one war, lost the second one unfortunately, but I was thinking about Town Hall 12 triples kind of because I've had a lot of uh, Town Hall 12 uh, experience lately, a lot of wars, and I think right now at Town Hall 12, the bat spell is still the key to 3-starring, which is why it's so important to build a good base with the Inferno Towers spread out, with the Wizard Towers spread out as well, the Town Hall um, is often a good thing because it deters the use of bats, because bats aren't going to do well against the Town Hall with the... Um, the amount of hit points it has, and also the Giga Tesla in the bomb that goes off once it is destroyed. So, I'm going to show a few of my attacks. I uh, had a, a good performance, got two uh, triples, and you know I always love to show my successful attacks because oftentimes in the live attacks it does not go very well. Um, so I want to show that I do still triple a little bit. But anyway, um, a lot of this is just about looking at where we can utilize the bat spell. And if you look on this base, we took out some wizard towers. Uh, right on the, the front side, Inferno Tower, two Wizard Towers, I think actually a third one, the Queen got another one down here. And really what I look at um, on this base, and um, unfortunately it's kind of been half destroyed already, but there's, on this back side, if you split the base down the middle right like this, with a line, this back right side, you have Wizard Tower next to Inferno. You never want to do that as a defender, never do that. You don't want a freeze spell to be able to cover both. It's too close. This is the only issue, this other wizard tower, but you'll see how I deal with it. Um, everything keeps moving through. We have the blimp and uh, dragons and loons for the town hall. Ice golem. Um, that was the other mistake on this base. And I dropped an archer at the very beginning to test for teslas. In case there are any there, I could drop some balloons on them. But making it so an ice golem can tank a wizard tower uh, just by being dropped nearby you want to have defenses like this can does a good job because you know the ice golem goes to the cannon on that side wizard tower can't reach it it's not going to be tanked by it but the archer tower can be um, so i'm able to do the rage bat freeze on the inferno tower and the wizard tower and that's all there is on the back end um, wizard tower gets like one shot off but it's too late most of the base has already been taken out so there's just too much value for bats on this base i think that's why it tripled um, and we'll take a look at one more attack. I wanted to show a few actually of uh, attacks that were high percentage two stars and talk about kind of what is left up on a base if you hit it with a, like a P.E.K.K.A. bowler smash or something, but I'm not going to show uh, any bases that were were not three stars. It's going to be a quick video, um, but I just wanted to kind of make my point with the bat spell. One quick thing as we transition into attacks here, guys, um, off topic, but if you're curious um, and you have some free time, check out the link in the description. Uh, as you guys know, I was in Europe for a little while and I made a travel video kind of compiling a lot of the a lot of the footage I took of different European cities and different places I went. So if you're curious, it's not really a vlog. It's kind of a vlog, but not really. Um, there's not much talking, but I thought I did a pretty good job editing it, and I appreciate it if you take a look and uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I put the link in the description for that. So anyway, having said that, back to Clash of Clans. Um, this next base, Single Inferno, I mean, I don't see... In some cases, on certain bases you build, it's acceptable to run a Single Inferno. I would say, generally speaking, just don't do it. Um, just because having the Inferno Towers is important, for defending against bats, and like, like I'm trying to, the point I'm making in this video is bats are one of the keys to three stoning. I mean, there's lots of other ways, you know, queen charge miners can work. A lot of times, just peck a bow bat with a slammer can work. Um, various army compositions, but this is what I've noticed is kind of being a, a surefire one, at least for me and for attacks I've been seeing. Um, and really looking at this base, you know, breaking it down as I like to do. We see that we have a lot of splash up here, but not going to have any good bat action because we probably can't freeze these together. Um, there's just too much on the top side, so it's a good side to enter at, get that taken out before the bats are used. 
Inferno Tower, Wizard Tower, once again, that's a huge sin of base building. Don't put those next to each other. Um, because that's where the bats are going to be deployed, getting those taken out initially. Um, and of course the bat wave I'm not showing in this video. This is just where you drop the bats with the rage directly on that splash damage. You can drop the wave where you drop it in the corner, then you freeze as they move along. That can work as well, um, but I found this is kind of a, if, if it's there, do this. This is preferable. Bat wave is if it's not, you know, you can't freeze everything, but um, all that's beside, once these wizard towers go down, and you'll notice all five of the healers died to that baby dragon in the clan castle. So basically swagged five healers in this attack. Um, that's kind of how effective the, uh, the overall plan was. But um, once the Inferno Tower, Wizard Tower are down, all that's left is this area of Splash. We're talking Air Splash that can take out bats. Just this, which we're going to take out right away. Wizard Tower, which can easily be tanked by an Ice Golem. I mean, I probably could have bowler bounced some of this stuff, but it just wasn't worth it. Um, so things got a little bit weird on the entry point, but everything's moving through the base generally. Have the Rage Bats freeze. That's the order you want to drop them in. And then um, you can see just those, the Expos are also on ground, which is not going to help the case here. Um, they help take out the Eagle, which is good, and then they move through the base. Single Inferno will go down, and then we have the Ice Golem, which um, I think was a good touch. You know, maybe didn't need it, but it, it tanks here, and I think it would have been even, this base would have been crushed much, much more had the five healers not died. It, what happened was the CC was lured a little earlier than I thought. And then I didn't have a poison spell, so I popped the queen's ability. The baby dragon runs past the queen and targets the healers. Unfortunate, I guess, if you're in that situation. Just know that if you hit your queen's ability, things might target the healers. So, I don't know. Do what you can to avoid that. But anyway, that's it for the video, guys. What I want to point out is a lot of these bases that are, you know, they could be solid bases, but if you break it down, you look at, is there a certain part of the base that's weak on... Uh, Inferno Towers, Wizard Tower coverage, and are they touching each other so you can freeze them? Are they close to the outside so you can use an Ice Golem and then work from there? Whether it's Witches, whether it's a P.E.K.K.A. Bowler entry, or whether it's Dragons or something else. Um, can be very effective. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, tough loss for us, unfortunately. In this war, we had a one star which hurt. Um, but, you know, not much you can do about that. And... One more time, a shout out to the video uh, linked in the description if you want to see my travels in Europe a little bit. Check it out. Anyway, that'll do it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.